Planabulin is a, is a new novel, non-GCSF compound, which has both anti-cancer and anti-chemotherapy-induced neutropenia effects. We've done a series of studies, and we're presenting at San Antonio um, the last random, the last in the series. It's a randomized clinical trial, so it's a phase three study of planabulin plus pegfilgrastim versus pegfilgrastim alone. Breast cancer patients uh, with new diagnosis received either adjuvant or neoadjuvant TAC chemotherapy. TAC is docetaxel, adromycin, and cyclophosphamide. We measured their uh, neutrophil count and other blood counts each day during the first chemotherapy cycle. The patients who received PEG filgrastim alone, which is the control arm, had um, a chemotherapy-induced neutropenia, and we're looking at profound uh, neutropenia of, of uh, neutrophils less than 0.1 times 10 to the 9 cells uh, per liter. They had about 54% uh, incidence, where, uh, I'm sorry, they had about, of those patients, about 54% of them had hospitalizations uh, compared with the chemotherapy, the arm with combination PEG and clonabulin, they had about a 20% incidence of hospitalization. The primary endpoint, uh, this was an unsurprising finding, which is a late breaking abstract. The primary endpoint in the trial is prevention of grade four neutropenia. The patients with the control arm, PEG filgrastim alone, which is the standard of care, had about a 20% uh, percent incidence, uh, uh, at about 20% uh, uh, prevention of profound neutropenia, where the um, combination arm had 40% uh, incidence of profound neutropenia. So those uh, results are in the uh, late breaking abstract, which I'll uh, present uh, at the San Antonio meeting. I'm excited about this result. I think we, we'll explore more uh, when we, we're also uh, looking at uh, days of severe neutropenia in this trial, but uh, and also uh, prevention of hospitalization, uh, prevention of uh, uh, emergency department visits and, and death as a, as a composite um, endpoint.